All right, so hey, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here, and I'm here with uh, Chris Collins. Chris Collins came out with his own line of fragrances. You might recognize his handsome face from the Ralph Lauren models. So uh, tell us a little bit about your line. What inspired you to start your own line of fragrances? Well, I mean, it's basically, it was an obsession that turned into a business. Yeah. And um, my line, the three fragrances are dedication to Harlem Renaissance. So I have Harlem Max, I have Gun Sauvage, and I have Renaissance Man. And it's, it's a ode to the Renaissance of the 1920s and its marriage to the Renaissance that's currently happening now. So the fragrances are my contribution to the current Renaissance. Now, I know they're all kind of like your babies. Yeah. But if you had to say you have a favorite one, maybe one that you wear more than others, which one would it be? I don't think I have a favorite. But I'm wearing Renaissance Man right now. Yeah. So that's that's the best I can tell you. It depends on my mood. You know, I was just on the, the Uber ride over here, and yeah. the driver just lost his mind. He was like, "What are you wearing? It's <laughs> the best thing I've ever smelled. It makes me so happy. My mind is just going crazy." So that's awesome. the Renaissance Man affected him. So yeah, right now, I mean, I'm wearing that tonight. And I would have been, like, I would have been very proud to say that that's my fragrance. That's your fragrance. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, the only thing I can do is kind of create something that I love and then hope that other people you know gravitate towards it. And love it too. I love that. And one one of my personal favorites is Dan Savage. Yes. I just love the note of plum that's in there. Yes. Now do you think that there's a certain occasion for these fragrances or you just wear them whenever you're in the mood? That's my mom. Um I just wear them whenever I'm in the mood. Yeah. Um, the Dan Savage, you know it's a spicier scent. You sure. know, it's kind of you know a sexier element. Yeah. With the cognac and the plum, sure. very woody okay. with the cedarwood. <laughs> so I guess it depends on the mood, but they all can be gay, they all can be light. Right. Not with too heavy, uh, not on gourmand. I haven't done gourmand yet, but I will possibly. I look forward to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're all easy scents, you know? Well, when you rate them, when you do the review, you know, that's kind of what you said about it. You know? yeah. They're not different, you know? That's but it. they're different. They're different. I wanted it to be niche. I didn't want it to be mass and you know, smell and everything else. So I use a very interesting mix of notes. For sure. And you'll notice that if you have a chance to try them, they're all incredibly versatile, very unique, easy to pull off. They have a certain level of uniqueness to it, like I said, but they're not overbearing. They're not overly challenging. Perfect. There's something to love about all of them. Right. Absolutely. So, Chris, thank you so much for the uh, time. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thank and you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the review on the great. The pleasure is all thank mine. You. Again, I'm going to put links to everything down below, so if you have the opportunity, make sure to check it out. And, Carlos, thank you very much for shooting this video. <laughs> Take care. All right, guys.